I guess I just also want to ask you about the impact that you've had, because I'm sure you have some sense of this broad impact that you've had on even the whole world, let alone the U.S., but do you have any any idea how big of, of a deal? Well, to be up? honest, no, I don't. Uh, I, I mean, I, I, I think most of the people who picked up on these ideas, I don't hear from them. You know, I, some like you, I do, but I know there are that the, the people like you is only a fraction of the people who picked up and used the ideas. But I'm, I'm always encouraged when somebody contacts me and just out of the blue and said, hey, I just want to let you know I learned about your ideas and I've been using them. They just made a huge difference. And I, and I rejoice with that and thank them for that. But I don't have a good feel for how, how big an impact it is. Well, I can tell you it, it's pretty big, just even in the little world that I've been able to hear about. And I know of at least one institution where they've sent a lot of people through your process and they call it thinking a course. So, you know, like, <laughs> have you thinked your course oh, yet? And... I, I have heard that term. Yes, I have heard oh. that. And I got a kick out of it. Uh, yes. Fun, somebody said, I'm going to thinkify my course here. <laughs> thinkify. Oh, that's, I like that one. Uh, and you've been able to travel. You talked about kind of the beginning of your career traveling around the world. And yes, I did. You've been able amazing. to travel a lot. Yes. I mean, it, I was, I've been on every continent. You know, Asia, Middle East, Europe, South America. I, I got invitations to go to all those places and do workshops. I mean, of course, I'm a geographer. I, I was delighted at that opportunity. Do you have any idea how many campus visits you've done over oh, the years? Uh, I'd say a few, a couple hundred, probably, you know, because it's over a period of about 10 years. And and for a while there, I was gone just about every week for, for a few years there. In terms of the number of people I had direct contact, I don't, I don't have a, I mean, it, it'd be a few, several, a number of thousands, but maybe even tens of thousands. But uh, Oh. out of millions so of, of faculty members. Hey, although you think of how many students then are impacted yeah, by those. That's, that's a nice a nice calculus to think about too. Yeah, yeah. Because then, yeah. then you just start multiplying by 30 to 50 or 100 or whatever. And it goes up. So that's uh, when I have trouble sleeping at night, I try to think of that. And that makes me feel good. <laughs> nice. Well, I some of my favorite comments I've heard are from faculty who say things like, you know, I now have permission to teach the kind of course that I want to teach. Like it allows them that freedom to do what they care about and do what is yeah. more meaningful and significant for students and for themselves, yeah. for their own teaching. Yeah. I, I get emails every, you know, just somebody emailed me out of the blue every once in a while with much that kind of comment. I, at long last, I've gotten your taxonomy gave me permission to what I wanted to do all the time, but didn't think I was supposed to. I thought I just had to stick strictly to the content kind of thing. And that that's very rewarding when I when I hear that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ha that makes me happy. Good. <laughs> so that, uh, that's exactly what I would like to see professors doing. Mm -hmm. Do you have any sense of where you would like to see it go in the future? Or if you, you know, if you weren't enjoying yeah. retirement, like maybe what you would still be doing with this? <laughs> well, yeah, I think the, the dream, which would be still a long ways off, just to say all all universities, all of them would say we want all of our professors to go through some kind of program, either during grad school or, or after they get on our campus, go through some kind of program where they learn about teaching. Because that's what the bulk of what they're gonna be doing is and the bulk of them have had no preparation for that uh, at the current time. So we wanna make sure that happens either on campus or when they come here. And then when they do come here, then it, it should be something more than knowledge of the subject matter to pour in ahead that needs to be really about teaching. And that, that boils down to my book to two major components, how you design the course and then how you interact with students once you get going. And there's things to learn about both of those, how to design the course and how to interact well. And that that's going to be a career long learning cycle. It's not a one, one and done kind of thing. Uh, that would be my dream. That's your big dream for. That's my big dream. <laughs> if <laughs> that happened, we it, the world would be different. Good. Anything else you'd want to share with either the students in this group or? It really excites me and makes me feel good to realize there are people like you and courses like yours and professors are signing up for these courses to learn about teaching, that there's a growing acknowledgement that there are valuable things to learn and they don't come automatically with going through grad school. And we want to make sure everybody on this campus knows how to do, how to teach well. And as that grows and, and with a recognition of what that means and what it entails, um, that's an exciting thing to imagine happen. That's my, that's my dream for higher education. 